Okay, so the basic unit of movement in any of, any of these, uh, the whole curriculum is we're looking for a gross motor response to violence. So um, if, if Willis, don't hit me, if Willis punches me in the face, bang, that's my face, bang, um, what's attacking me is not his hand, it's his body, it's his whole self. So my issue, my problem is not Willis's hand, it's him. So I need to deal with him. If I learn a whole bunch of different techniques around what thing he might possibly bring, I'm not going to have access to any of those things in an emergency. I only have what's natural to me, without any training, what's instinctual, or what I've taught my body to do through lots and lots of repetition has now become habit. Those are the only two things I have available to me when things go fast on and they catch me by surprise. So what I want to do is a gross motor response. So let's, let's just work on you, come just shove me, push me down. Bang, good. Give me a little more speed. Okay, good. So that's what I'm going to do. And what it looks like, just without you coming at me, is I'm bringing my hands up. My fingers are together, my hands are slightly cupped, because I don't want fists, because that signals fighting. It might cue the other person that this is an aggressive act, and it might spark aggression, but it also might cue me, just from the appropriate, just appropriate section, cue the whole closing my hand. I might feel this, and I might, in the adrenal stress, I might think I'm fighting. So I want to make sure I keep always practice with my hands open. I like my fingers together so that I don't snag fabric and tear my fingers. So basically well, all I want to do is one thing I can teach myself to do that will basically keep my brain safe. If this is a very aggressive person and they hit me once, they really ring my bell once, I might not be able to recover in time to stop the next thing. So I really have to protect my head. So again, I'm just protecting my head by bringing my hands up. So everything from here down to my elbow basically provides some coverage. So when he goes to shove me, I'm basically moving off of his line. That's all I want to do. If I can, if he starts moving forward, I want to back up. But if he won't let me gain space because he's closing on me, then I need to clear his line. The way we're doing that is, if I'm standing here, if, I, if you can imagine a, a piece of tape or something on the floor where he's moving toward me, what I want to do is step off the tape line and move. And as I do it, protect my head. That's, we call this the pivot and deflect. That's the foundational move for everything we're going to use in the whole curriculum. So if he goes to hit me this time instead of, right? basically it's the same motion. I'm going to use it for everything. If he goes to grab my hair, my clothes are stuck. He's still going to move. If he goes to grab my clothing, you know, it's all the way I'm going to move. I'm going to do the same thing for everything. 